Welcome back to Pack Expo. Uh, today we're going to talk about our new line of electric actuators, the Norgren Elion line. We offer two different variations, a rodless style with both a tooth belt design and a ball screw design, and then a rod style actuator with a ball screw design. For the rodless tooth belt electric actuator range, we have four bore sizes. We can achieve speeds up to 394 inches per second, uh, forces up to just over 300 pounds, and stroke lengths up to 217 inches. For the ball screw version of the rodless range, we offer four bore sizes as well, but we get higher forces up to 2,300 pounds, stroke lengths up to 98 inches, and speeds up to 63 inches per second. And for the rod style, we actually offer six different bore sizes, uh, strokes up to approximately 60 inches, higher forces up to 6,800 pounds, and speeds up to 63 inches per second. So the Norgren Elion range really fills a gap between the OLE, uh, which maxed out at 350 pounds of thrust, and it fills in the gap between the T-series thruster that we've had, uh, which is really higher, uh, cap higher force capabilities, as well as much more rugged and industrial. So this fills that gap and allows us to be more competitive on some of the lower force applications. Uh, for all of the electric actuator line, we're pretty much motor agnostic, so we do have an opportunity to provide the full solution with the integrated servo motor, um, but if you have a motor vendor that you work with and prefer, we can make couplers and adapters to mount up to those, and we're very flexible. Uh, for the Norgren Elion line, we also have an awesome configurator. You can go through and select uh, which version you would like, and then enter in application specific data. Sizing is built into it, and then you're able to download 3D CAD models, insert them into your assembly, make sure everything's going to fit. And it also gives you a nice PDF with a bomb of everything that you'll need to order. To configure your Norgren Elion electric actuator, please visit norgren.com.